Ooh, welcome to another vlog, people. I'm actually about to head out right now. I'm about to hop in my truck, crank it up. I'm gonna get on with my day. See this? Pants are so dang long. I got these little short legs of mine. Let's go. It's a beautiful day out here. Loving the cloud cover out because I'll tell you in a minute actually. But it is nice out. Alright. So I'm filming another vlog because you guys love the vlogs. I love the vlogs. There's it's, it's perfect. If you both like them, then that, that's good. So today I've been editing a lot of videos, just doing a lot of stuff. I uh <coughs> um have like five videos in advance done right now, so that's just phenomenal. I post three videos a week, if you guys don't know. Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Sundays is when I currently post. I may be boosting it up to more, maybe not. I just, I'm gonna be traveling a lot, and so I wanna have a lot of stuff done in advance, and I'm like really busy, like 24 seven, um, just working and traveling and just all kinds of stuff, so. That's why I'm trying to get all my videos done in advance, so I don't even have to worry about it. But uh, I actually watched a little bit of YouTube today. Um, I, I rarely watch YouTube. Something just popped up on my feet. I want to watch it. Kendall Gray. If Kendall Gray's watching this video, man, you need to get your butt up here on Lanier. It's been, it's been good. It's been good. I like what you're doing. It's pretty cool. I know you're having fun with it. Same thing I'm doing. It's, it's great. You can get your butt up here and come film a video. So if you guys are wondering what I'm doing right now, I'm actually going to Extreme, which is where I keep my boat, and I am fishing a night tournament tonight. So I'm very excited about that. So it is 2.45 right now. The tournament starts at 6.30. We need to get there around 6 or 6.45, 5.45 I'd say. Um, I'm not gonna be putting in at the ramp that we are taking out of. I'm actually gonna put in somewhere else and drive over just because it'd be much easier on me. And um, it won't take forever for me because like the boat ramp's like 45 minutes from my house, but it's not gonna be far if I drive on the lake. It'll take a few minutes, but let's just go ahead and go to um, boat storage. <laughs> Stop by a gas station real quick and grab a few, few waters and a monster. Freaking exhausted, but we're gonna make everything work. My dad was thirsty too. He's actually up there again. His, me and my dad are fishing it. We're fishing it together. I'll show you, I'll tell you more details once I get there. But I kind of want to like re spool some stuff and you know get everything ready because I'm gonna win this thing. And I'm on the fish right now to win it. I just have to capitalize on it. And make it happen. Hopefully, we can do that. Those are extra reels, man. This is a trash I don't have no extra reels. You just have a bag in here with like three or four reels in it. Like one or two, maybe. We can re spool them if you want. Oh, you gotta be careful with this. I might have hooks in here. Yeah. Ooh, look at that. There's one. Hold on. Look in there. Oh, yeah. How many is in there? Is there a spinning reel in there? Yeah. Yeah, get that. What else? That's it. There's a line in there. Say hey to the camera. Oh, be careful with that. Yeah. That's the one that he said he'd buy back from. Do you rig this one up? Three poles. Does it have a lead? What pound leader is that? Eight. It's perfect. I need to refix mine because I'm pretty sure it's a 12 pound leader. I, that ain't gonna do. I don't, don't want to put six on again. I broke off so many fish. That's all eight. I need to put braid on one of mine too. I just put a new braid on it, but I kind of want to put more. What's that? 70. Hey, I gave you a box of spinner baits one time. Is it in the boat? It's 150 pound. I need that. What do you want to use? Like, 
Dude, it's so hot. You're telling me. We need to get our fish before dark. I'm just following you. There's only one spot I really want to fish. I'm debating on putting you breathing. Nice. Look at this. Look at the bottom of that. That's that's for me catching fish the past couple of days. That's literally two right trips. That thing. Yeah, it's two trips. Look at that. <laughs> that's how many fish I've caught. All right, so my plan is to have like top water rod, a few top water rods, and a duo spin swim bait. And for when it gets dark, I kind of want to throw like a big spinner bait or a crank bait, maybe like a chatter bait. What else? Maybe a whopper plopper. Just work it very slow. Maybe we can get a few bites on that. It's just gonna be dark, so I guess we'll just have to figure that out. How is that thing even holding on, son? Give me the scissors. You crazy? So you thinking you're just gonna toss hot water on that? That's the way to get a big one. Okay, damn it. I guess I'm gonna do one of these things. It's the most aggravating thing I've ever done. When you left, you were patient. Dude, it's hot. Hey, what are you talking about? Yeah, this ain't hot. I mean, this isn't what I got, son. Boy. It is hot. So, getting the majority of the stuff ready right now. I uh, got a few rods ready, putting some line on some, just trying to get everything ready. This tournament is actually a three fish tournament. So, uh, if I could assume, we need about 12 pounds to win, so three four pounders. And for how I've been on the fish the past couple of weeks, that shouldn't be a problem. So, I'm hoping we can go out there and whack them. The conditions are great today, like, they should have been munching today. Um, way better in the past couple of days. Past couple of days have been rough, but I've still managed to put over 15 pounds a day in the boat. So I think we'll do good as long as we can uh, capitalize on those bites and get them before before it gets dark. If we get them before it gets dark, that's when it should be good. So if we it starts at 6:30, it'll probably get dark around nine, and so we have about two hours to be able to bucket three big ones, which I think we can, and then kind of wing the rest and just try to get a few good bites. Um, it should be good. I'm not worried about it. I got some top water on. Should go get those big ones. I mean, everyone's been struggling the past couple of days, and I've caught them pretty good. So I'm just hoping that it'll last up and be able to put some big ones in the boat. Tying some big spinner baits and crank baits for at night. I also have like a big old whopper plopper. I'm gonna kind of rip it and let it sit because in that dark, you know, just rip it, pause, rip it, pause. Let's see what we can do. I'll catch back up with you guys in a minute. I'm on a big crank bait right now. I don't have any like the colors I was wanting, but. I mean, me and my dad were talking about we don't really think it. I don't night fish too much. I don't think it'll matter too much though. We were thinking about like a big, you know, black and red or a big black and blue crankbait, but I don't have any right now. So, I'm sometimes on a regular 6XD to make it work. Might, might tie a big spinner reed on too, but honestly, like I was saying, I really don't think it's gonna, if we can just get our fish, I, I really think we will before it just gets dark out and just go kind of mess around the last couple of hours. That's kind of what I'm thinking is going to happen. But you know, I could be wrong. We'll get the bites. It's the fact if the fish are going to cooperate and actually commit and eat the bait. That's the only, that's the only thing I'm kind of scared about. Because lately this fish, I've had some monster. I mean, I've been catching four pounders, but I'm talking, I've had some fish five and over come up like yesterday I had a fish over five come up and just slam my bait he had it for a second and then he pulled off it's just one of those deals where they're, they're not sometimes they just won't, don't want to commit Condi conditions are perfect today there's cloud cover um, the winds picked up a little bit like the past two days have been complete bluebird skies like complete um, sun sun's just blaring down zero wind maybe two mile per hour at max and like those fish just don't really want to chew. They're really lethargic. But, you know, it's gonna. You know, it's usually like a morning time or an afternoon time or a night time. Night time, you know, they're usually feeding pretty good. So hopefully we'll be able to get them around six o'clock, seven o'clock. They should bite pretty good. But I guess we're gonna see. But I have most of my base rigged up right now. My dad rigged up some of his as well. 
Look at this big old chug bug that he tied on. I think that's gonna be a key bait. We're just looking for this three, we just need three bites. It's not like we need five, we need three bites, three big bites. So we need, I was telling him probably, it's not a five fish limit, it's a three fish limit. Around 12 pounds. So I'm thinking around 12 pounds to do it. I ain't, I ain't too, too worried about more than that. Maybe maybe a little over 12 was gonna end up winning the tournament. I, I really don't think anything over 12. I don't think anyone coming up with a large amount either. I don't see that. Just four magnum spots. And we'll make it happen. Rods on deck. Sammy. Big swim bait. Wobblehead with a crawl. Whopper popper. Big crank bait. 6XD. Goat shed. I believe it's called. Gunfish. Scrounger. I don't know. I don't know about that, but. Chug bug. Do a spin. Oh, yeah. I got to do a spin back here as well. How they should bite. So that's what we got going. So before it gets dark. You know, Sammy swim bait. I don't know if I'm going to throw that swim bait too much, but Sammy swim bait. Um, crawl. Nighttime whopper popper. Uh, crankbait. Possibly that crawl. And yeah. Do a spin as well throughout the day. I, they've been killing that thing pretty well. Don't take a picture of me. I'm filming you. Huh? So you're eating a biscuit and water, man. <laughs> Don't really do that. The house. <laughs> if you get mad on me, I will kill you. <laughs> and I mean, kill you. <laughs> you better. All right, guys. So uh, I'm sitting down right now, packing up all my camera stuff, getting it ready for the tournament. I'm gonna have to leave here in like 15 minutes. But uh, I'm gonna go there, putting in at that ramp, and I'm driving over to the ramp that we're launching out of. I'm gonna register, and uh, I'm gonna be filming this whole tournament. The thing is, like. I'll be recording and then once it gets dark it's gonna be hard so maybe I'll just do like midday or like mid hour updates like on this camera on what we got going on but hopefully we'll have our fish before it gets dark that's what I'm praying that's gonna happen I can't promise you that but uh you know I've been whacking them the past couple weeks so you know that's that's the thing if, if the fishing is gonna go in my favor I'm, I'm praying that it will the conditions are amazing um, I've been whacking the fish the past couple weeks I'm just hoping that's gonna happen and uh one thing I want to say is I, I've I've got a third place finish at the college uh, Bassmaster Southern Regional and uh, that was a three day event. Uh, me and my partner did really good in that one. Um, I got a second place on the Savannah River. Um, could have possibly won that one, but ended up getting second place. Um, and I haven't won one this year, so that's the past couple of months I've got those finishes. So I'm really wanting a tournament win this year. So I'm praying that's going to happen this tournament and uh, just get the quick dub and I uh, say that I got a first second and third place this year and that'd be awesome and to do that in the first half of the year you know that's pretty pretty solid so I'm praying that that'll happen I've been out there working my butt off practicing filming just getting all kinds of content hopefully get on a good top water bite today but you know guess we'll see how it goes but stay tuned for this video I'm, I'm going to be filming the whole tournament I'll try to get a lot of footage try to get a lot of cool stuff and just kind of show the behind the scenes action of a tournament and you know what I'm doing just like a standard tournament video like I always do but Overall, um, I hope you guys will go back and watch that. If this is out, I'm sure it's going to be out before then. Um, but just stay tuned for that video. Um, and also on my Instagram, uh, Facebook, Twitter, all those other pages is where I post all my updates for my tournaments. You can go check out my Instagram page. Uh, that's my most active one. And uh, Facebook as well. Because I post everything on Instagram. kind of goes to Facebook as well. So that's where I get most of my updates. So go follow me on there for all the updates. But overall, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys so much for the support. If you love these vlogs, be sure to hit the thumbs up button. Um, comment below on what you guys want to see. I'm going to be posting a lot of vlogs. You know, at least one vlog a week. And, you know, try to do one tip video, one fishing video a week as well. Just kind of expand and get a lot of variety. Variety's the biggest, biggest word out to you guys on everything that you guys want to see. But thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe and hit the little bell so since you post notifications and check out some of, them, of my latest vlogs below. Be sure to smash that like button. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Tuesday, Thursday, Sunday videos those days. Peace out. Honestly, I think that 24-7 are understatement to my day-to-day -day. Day -day. If ain't no way, then I'ma make a way yeah. They'll say I say it ain't no way I ain't never listen, kept them at the distance This is for the ones who ain't afraid yeah. And this is more than some paper chase yeah. I wonder who else can say the same yeah. Never worry about what they attain If I'm living, then I really can't complain yeah. Can't contain who you really are I know my true colors like the same